Hey there everybody, Power here and welcome back. Today I'm going to be starting a video, I can't call it a series, but a set of PSA videos. Uh, these are going to come out as needed, going to be labeled Buyer Beware, and basically they're going to bring the lights. There's, we're in a bit of an era in video games that are kind of strange. Uh, we are getting more and more games come out every day uh, than there has ever in the history of video gaming. Between Kickstarter, indie games, you know, full-blown AAA games, always online, digital games, free-to-play games, there's just more video games out there than there ever have been before, and the, the rate of what they're coming out is, is astounding compared to anything else. Brought with this, though, means a lot of the mainstream media mainstream media in the video game industry at least, uh, cannot cover many of the smaller games. Uh, and then being that I primarily focus on PC games, PC gaming gets overlooked almost entirely by everything but the few dedicated PC gaming sites. Uh, so we have kind of this lack of information on quite a few games within the PC market. Now, obviously I'm only one person playing around with a channel that I'm just kind of goofing off on. Uh, so I'm not going to be covering anything, but when I do come across a certain set of games that the consumer needs to be made aware of in terms of hazardous, not hazardous, but cancerous issues within the game and everything, I'm going to try to bring some light to it, and that's going to be this series of Buyer Beware. Today I'm going to be focusing on two games, most likely it's never going to be two games again, but to start kick this off, I have two games I want to cover. Uh, the first of which is this little game right here I'm playing called Cube World. Uh, this game was started development back in 2011. Somewhere in late 2012, they opened it up to an early access buy-in program. Uh, I jumped in somewhere around mid-2013. Uh, around that time, there was actually several videos that came out, and those were the ones that convinced me to jump in. Uh, there were these videos that came out, and they showed off the little world that we have here. Uh, this voxel-based cube world, similar to Minecraft, but slightly different. It certainly has its own aesthetic that Minecraft, you know, Minecraft has its own aesthetic, but this has a different one reminiscent of only itself. So th these videos started rolling out. Now where Minecraft, oh this isn't good. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Minecraft is about exploration, survival, and construction of items and everything, you know, collecting food. This game is far more about the combat and the RPG elements. So there are towns with quests in them, the world will randomly spawn bosses, uh, and so forth. Yeah, I am so dead, I have no potions. And so forth. And I could run forever and this guy is just going to continue to follow me. Um, but what it was doing was, it was going to take the Minecraft craft aesthetic and put it in more of an RPG based world. Uh, it did this with multiplayer servers, servers with like 300 players on them and such, and so forth. And there were a bunch of videos came out of people playing this game and they were having a blast, and it looked to be progressing very well. Unfortunately, since July of 2013, there has not been a single update to the game. Uh, so from July of 2013 to February of 2014, basically coming around on a year almost, um, we've not seen any updates at all. Uh, my guess is, from what I understand, this game was kind of a pet project, a project of passion from some college students or whatever, uh, and it looks like they just kind of ran out of stamina, uh, it, which is completely un understandable. I, I, I'm sure many of us have started off on these projects of passion that we end up just burning out on before we get very far. It may very well happen to my YouTube channel at some point. We don't know. You know, I don't plan on ever turning it into, oh, this is going to hurt ever turning it into some big thing, it's just going to be kind of my fun little uh, enjoyment type thing. It, it may peter out. The difference is, they were charging, I want to say, $30 for the alpha access to this. Uh, they were promising a lot of stuff, and they got quite a few, oh crap, vampires, I can't fight them. They got quite a few people to buy into it, and then just disappeared. And we're not even just talking about, we haven't seen patch updates to the game, we haven't even seen updates to the, the website, there, there hasn't been any word from the developers at all that I've been able to come across. Basically, they got some money, and it looks like they disappeared. Uh, and that's a good bit different than a free YouTube channel that I, I might just burn out on. Uh, or, you know, if you have your own hobby, you burn out on it or whatever. All of that is completely understandable, but when you start charging for it, 
and then up and disappear, then we have a problem. Uh, and it's a real shame because this game had a good bit of potential that just didn't come to fruition. The other problem is you can still buy this game. It's still up for sale. Now, this game was never on Steam. It's sold through their own website. It's this company called Picroma, I think. P-I-C-R-O-M-A, Picroma is how you pronounce it. Um, and you can still go to their website and you can buy this game. Hasn't been updated in almost a year, hasn't been any input. You're basically just giving them money for this old, half-working game concept. Uh, and that's a, that's a big issue. So, right now, I gotta say, I'm gonna keep an eye. If there is ever an update, if they start development again, I will update this video and let y'all know. But as of right now, do not touch this game. There is just no content here, uh, and it should not be played. Hey, don't be attacking me. I thought you were friendly. And, yeah, so th that's where we're going to sit on this one. Just be very careful on this. There is some fun to be had, but there are better games coming out that really should get your, your focus first. Uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and we'll jump over to the second... Oh, wait, nope. One other word of warning. There, uh, there is a fake.exe running around that you can get. I've actually, I got it from, I want to say I saw it on a YouTube channel as an advertisement. Uh, and it's just a spam.exe. Basically, when you download it or whatever, uh, from what I could tell, it only installs like 30 or so different bloatware programs. You know, like five different toolbars for your web browser, antivirus system that'll tell you how to how many things are wrong with your programs and stuff and it's called cubeworld.exe uh, so you have to be very careful of that not just now as far as I know it that has nothing to do with these games that's just a general word of warning be cautious if you are looking for this game there is a malware version running around out there uh, so yeah this is uh, cube world we'll jump over to the next game here in a moment and here we are on the second game this is Towns, um, and this one, boy, this one kind of hurts, because I really, I like the, the theory behind this game, I like the direction it was going, and it just never came to fruition, uh, and that's just driving me nuts. Uh, so Towns is, and I, you might have heard me talk about this a little bit if you watched any of my Nomeria series, Towns is a bit like Nomeria. It's, it's another one of these kind of updated, a little more user-friendly, um... Dwarf Fortress type games. But where Nomeria has been regularly updated, you know, we can you can see about every two weeks or so you get an, a patch to it. On a regular basis, you get an idea of what they're working on and everything. And Nomeria is close to 100%. Uh, it needs a little bit of balancing tweaking, tweaks, but for the most part, its content is all there. All of the mechanics are in place and ready to go. Uh, you know, they're basically just balancing it out. It's about to go gold, if you, or it's about ready to go gold, if you ask me. Towns was on its way, and actually the game I preferred more than Nomeria. Uh, it has its own neat mechanics, uh, mainly in terms of the... The, the hero system. So in towns, you have you can hot you can attract heroes into your village via having a tavern, and then these these rooms, and they'll stay in the rooms, and then based off of your, the type of food, the happiness of your people, and how deep your dungeon goes, and everything. Uh, d depending on those mechanics, you can attract any one of like twelve different heroes, uh, and you can attract multiple heroes. So. Th there's this interesting mechanic that I don't see in the other games that I really liked. Unfortunately, though, unlike Nomeria, this game hasn't been updated since, since September of 2013. Uh, and now, unlike Cube World, where Cube World basically the developer has disappeared and we assume they're maybe working on it, but we don't know, we have heard from the developers of Towns. Uh, and they've basically told us that... Well, hang on. There are replies to forum threads from what look like to be the developers. I can't confirm whether or not they are the developers, but it seems like they are. Uh, and basically it sounds like they're, a bunch of their programmers got pulled in to another program or another game, uh, and the they've been pulled off of this game. 
Uh, now, the guy that seems to be the head of the whole thing looks like he is in the process of hiring a new uh, programmer or two to work on this. But that's assuming, you know, once you hire the programmers, they got to go through and they got to tear down the game, they got to look at it, they got to get an understanding of what's going on. Then they have to pick up and they have to follow along. And will the vision stay the same? You, you assume it's the same people over it, but different people working on it. Things could change for the better or the worse. It's hard to say. So. We have heard from people that seem to be in this, and it doesn't look like this game has been completely abandoned, but we just don't know. Uh, and that's unfortunate here, because like I said, I really do like this game. They've also, like, like Cube World, they have been still taking money. This has been on sale in both of the big sales recently for Steam. Uh, it's still available on Steam, and it was in the, uh, the Thanksgiving sale and the holiday sale, the Christmas sale, both times at fairly high discounts, which I guess is a good thing, but I don't know, it seems like if your game hasn't been updated in almost six months, of course at that time it was only three months, maybe um, you shouldn't be putting it on sale or everything, there, there's a, a bit of a conflict there in my opinion. But that is what it is. For right now though, if you're looking for one of these type games, I gotta say, stay away from towns. Keep an eye on it, and god, I hope they get back to it and I hope they update it and they finish it off because it could be a really, really good little simulator. But for right now, it's just not there. And and that that's the, the sad thing. So don't don't spend your money on this right now. Uh, hopefully, I can come back here in a week and say, hey, I was a liar. There's a new update. It looks like they're ready to go on it again. Uh, let's hope, let's cross our fingers, but the, the trend doesn't seem to be going that way. So yeah, that's the two games in the first Buyer Beware series, and if I come across any other ones that have major issues that need to be made brought to light, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that, and we'll pick it up from there. Hopefully we don't see too many of these, because it means there's a lot of bad games coming out, or a lot of cheap tactics going on in the game development, but, you know, I wouldn't be surprised with the, the way the game market is anymore. So, this has been Power, thanks for watching.